Okay, this is going to be a short video of my Cobalt Multi-Tool. This is something I purchased from Lowe's, the hardware store, multi-store, whatever they're called these days. And I purchased this quite a number of years ago. Um, right now, I'm not even sure if they actually still make this particular multi-tool. I've looked for it in stores, I've looked for it online, and I haven't seen any references to it. So I have to assume that they no longer make this. However, I've found that this has been one of my, if not the most reliable multi-tool that I've had, simply because it is efficient at what it does. It's lightweight. Unfortunately, I don't have a scale with me at the moment, so I can't take the exact weight of this as a whole. But the pouch, the phrase right here, notwithstanding, has held up very well. Um, some of the other multi-tools that I've had, such as the Gerber suspension, um, that, the main thing that was wrong with that was it was pretty heavy when it had the full set with it because I have the one that not only has the multi-tool but the bit driver set that goes along with that so if you carry everything that gets kind of heavy and unfortunately for that the actual pouch that they sell with that just isn't up to snuff. The belt loop essentially just lost all you know form to it it you know compressed here you know just couldn't hold up any longer so I just had this massive weight hanging you know almost horizontally from my waist and that's just not acceptable so I went back to carrying this and this is it now as I said it is not fancy in any way shape or form this blue right here you know cobalt they have this i guess blue is blue and white is probably their color since everything that they seem to sell is blue and white this is a rubberized grip so that makes it very easy to hang on to it is spring loaded which is definitely something that i think all multi-tools should be i've had quite a few leathermans and particularly the leatherman surge from memory reserves correctly that does not have spring loading on there and so that is a minor a major problem in my opinion I mean it's otherwise good but if you just don't have that spring loading something that's going to snap back something that's going to give you better feel whenever you're actually working with the pliers or the stripper aspect you, you know you just lose some of that uh, dexterity with that in my opinion so this guy actually has the fish scaler It has your Phillips head screwdriver. It has a, another screwdriver, a flathead, and I guess you could probably use that as a bottle opener. And it has a file. Okay, the one thing that is not good about this is that these are not locked back so they will they can possibly move on you while you're working with them so you do have actually have to be especially careful when you do use this and it has this large blade well used you can see residue probably from tape and stuff like that so it probably needs to be maintained a little better but when you're always on the go always on the fly sometimes maintenance doesn't get performed the way it should be you have your uh, can opener, which I actually have used quite a few times. And I guess that's probably another small screwdriver or can be used as a screwdriver on the top there. Yet another screwdriver, which is a finer point. Yet another screwdriver, which is a, another flat point, a flat screwdriver, flat head screwdriver. And last but not least, a saw, which I actually have used a number of times. Can't count the number of times I've used these to take down small saplings and whatnot for whatever use I needed it. But as I said, the one flaw in this is that these functions are not locked back. So whenever you do actually use them, you have to ex you know, be extremely careful so that you don't actually injure yourself with it.
Okay. And I guess because they're primarily a tool company, Cobalt, that's one of the reasons why they probably have a lot of screwdrivers or things that can be used as screwdrivers on this. You can never run out of screwdrivers, I guess. And let's just fold it up here to show you what it would look like to be scaling fish. As I said, this is not locked back. So this will move on you. So you just have to be careful when you do it. But as I said, all things considered, this has been one of my most reliable multi-tools. And I will perhaps do a comparison of the multi-tools that I have. As I said, I have the Leatherman Surge, the, Gerberman, the Gerber suspension, a one of those Walmart Winchester ones, you know, it's pretty cheap and it really doesn't, um, it's, it's cheap and it's heavy. I think it is spring loaded, so it does have one positive feature. And there's another one that I have too, I can't think of the name of it right off hand, but um, maybe one of these days I'll do a side by side so you can see what they all look like, weigh them, and just, you know, just, just compare them. All right, thanks for watching and let me know what you think about my Cobalt multi-tool. As I said, this thing has served me well over the years. It's one of the oldest and I try some of the fancier ones and I always seem to go back to this one for some period of time. And I think I've been using this one probably in this particular rotation, probably for about a year and a half again. Okay, thanks for watching and bye-bye.